Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Love. Um, just wanted to make a quick video because I actually need your advice, your input. I'm gonna take a poll and see what I decided to do. Uh, let me go back a little bit. I've decided to put a few trees in the ground this upcoming season and I've found a few spots where I can do it in. Most of them are gonna be growing Aspilaire and um, I decided to put one on that fence and if you guys can see that fence I want something to grow as Belair. I already dug a hole there last season and I put some food so it could compost there you know some waste and I also put um, some shirt star and I also put some compost in there and I just been putting things in there so that way all that area can get prepared for when I decide to put a tree there because it's been on my mind since I moved here I definitely know that I want to put a tree there I just don't know what tree I want to put there because it's going to be permanent once I put it in there I mean it doesn't necessarily have to be permanent but I want it to be now the debate that I'm having is that I thought about putting the pomegranate tree that I'm pre that I prepped growing in Aspilaire. However, pomegranates go dormant, as you guys know, and during the winter they look like that. <laughs> no leaves, just sticks. And on the other side of this fence is my courtyard, and when people walk in, they'll be able to see that during the winter. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that I try to put all my evergreen trees in the courtyard just because I want it to look green all year round so most of my citrus trees are in there i like it to look very pretty that's where i come out take a cup of tea and hang out with my daughters when they're playing outside and i just enjoy sitting out there so i was looking around and looking at my trees and as you guys know i have a blood orange tree and my blood orange tree is growing in front of my courtyard and it's growing aspilaire hold on baby girl yes in a second she's in the middle of doing her chores okay I'll be right with you. Hello. I'm doing a video. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Yeah. Okay, come and say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, that tree that I have growing in my courtyard, it's a, a red, uh, um, red orange, a blood orange. It's growing aspilaire. It's done a lot of growing over the last year. And um, I thought maybe that can go right here and eventually cover this whole fence green so it will look pretty on the other side and it will look pretty on this side and it would be a living grow, a living wall that's producing fruit which would be an amazing thing to see um, and to have because you can grab some fruit from this side and you can grab some fruit from the other side depending on where you're at you can reach through the fence yes when she's done yes so um, that's that's where my thoughts were however i do want the pomegranate and i'm just not sure if i should put the pomegranate or the blood orange as i'm talking to you guys i'm getting more convinced with the blood orange because of the points that i'm that i mentioned just a little bit ago plus the blood orange i feel like would be easier to maintain you guys know pomegranates kind of grow crazy they grow have new growth i'll show you guys as you guys can see this one right here it's already growing a whole bunch of new branches that are sticking out away from the fence so that is my dilemma right now please leave it in the comments down below and let me know what you guys think what's your opinion i definitely want to do this sooner than later i'll probably be doing it in the next few weeks um as far as out in my courtyard the where i have my blood orange i decided to move one of my eureka pink variegated lemons if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that i have two one that i air layer for my neighbors from my old house and one that i store bought so one of those is going to be repotted into a bigger pot and i'm going to train that one to grow aspilaire depending on which one of those two have a, has a better shape to start training it to grow aspilaire that's the one that's going to go up pot <laughs> it's going to go into a bigger pot and um continue to have a good look over there in my courtyard so that's um one of my plans for this upcoming season um super super excited it's been raining a lot and um i've been thinking that the soil might be soft 
to dig a hole if you guys remember when i tried to dig a hole in my backyard it was like ridiculously hard my husband put all his weight and it was just nearly impossible to get a hole done not even like um four cups size a hole uh, or one gallon size a hole it took like forever so now that it's been raining a lot um I was thinking that the soil might be softer and easier to dig a hole and the same coincidentally the same day that I was thinking that one of my subscribers put it in the comments down below and they suggested to dig a hole now so I'm going to be doing that we might get some rain tonight and tomorrow I'll be home and I'll probably come out here and start digging a hole and prepping the hole for which I think now I'm convinced to do the blood orange and put it there let me know what you guys think blood orange or pomegranate hmm that's gonna be a tough one um but I'm, I'm, I'm leaning more towards the blood orange just because i like the idea of this whole area being evergreen and um i can grow that somewhere where an uh, area that's not seen all the time at least not by other people that come into my house and live here with us um so uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below i'm gonna be planning that there and i'm also going to be planting my real red um pomegranate back there and i actually did start digging that hole yesterday um and it was it was fairly easier than it was last time trying to dig a hole so i'm really excited about that so a lot of videos coming up guys i know i've been kind of missing in action over the last few days and maybe a week or two it just been crazy busy and um one of my laptops broke and my daughter took the other laptop and trying to take a laptop from a teenager has not been easy and uh haven't had the energy to do just go through that struggle if you guys have teenagers you know what that's like anyways guys um really excited spring's almost here even though it's been raining and cold and it doesn't seem like it but it definitely is around the corner and i'm um, super 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 thrilled i'm glad to have had the opportunity to make this video and get everybody's opinion on what tree i should put in the ground to grow against that fence leave it in the comments down below and if you guys are on instagram um follow me and tag me on any pictures of any trees or anything that you're growing because it definitely inspires me and it keeps me motivated to come out to the garden and just kind of like share what i have going on just um i just love 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 looking at pictures and other things that and looking at other things that other people are growing all right guys i hope you guys have an amazing weekend i'll see you guys in the next one love ya <laughs>